Okay, the first thing we want to do is make sure that it's the right caliper and that it's for the right side. We're going to be putting dot three brake fluid in it. You can use dot four if you want to. Before we open it, we're going to clean the cap off. You don't want any dirt falling in there. Once you get it fairly clean, you can take the cap off. All right, so I'm gonna top this up because we want to make sure that the reservoir keeps topped up while we disconnect the line here. Okay, so the banjo bolt connecting the line here is a 15 millimeter. I break it free while it's still mounted so it won't be so difficult to undo when it's not connected to the bracket anymore. You want to be careful not to break it. As you can see, it broke loose and it's dripping. You want to make sure that you don't get that to drip on anything, especially anything painted. I'm going to gently tighten it back up so it's not dripping anymore. And I'll be able to easily undo that when I need to. So now I'm going to take the two 13 millimeter bolts off here. And I'm going to take this old caliper. I'm just going to sit it on the, the lower control arm there. Once we get these two bolts out, it'll still stick into place because there's little notches on the pads. So I'm gonna have to push back these. I'm gonna have to push back the calipers a little bit with a screwdriver. Because as you can see, it only slides so far. So we're gonna wanna push these pistons back in order to slide it off the pads here. Okay. And as you can see, the boots are destroyed on these. So, this caliper needs to be rebuilt. We're just replacing it for now. Set it over there. And... I'm gonna replace the bracket too, so I'm gonna take these 21 millimeters out. We'll just take the pads out, wipe them, and set them aside. thing I'm going to do is take this caliper off, take these two, it looks like 13 millimeter bolts. Okay, these are 12 millimeter bolts, but the 13 worked. Okay, once it's separated, we can set this there. We want to make sure the pistons are pushed all the way back and the boots look good. Everything looks good on this. I'm gonna lube up these parts of the caliper bracket and then I'm gonna install the bracket in place. You wanna make sure that these pins here are lubed up nice. They don't really come with much. So I like to add some. If you put a decent amount of lube in there, then they shouldn't seize up. You don't want to put too much that it 
doesn't let it go in all the way, but. Now that the surfaces where the pads go are lubed up, I'm going to bolt it up into place. of the caliper together and put in the two 12 millimeter bolts. Before I lift it into place, I'm gonna take this cover out. And you wanna make sure you don't get anything in it. To know if you got it on the right side, you just wanna put it in position and the bleeder should be on the top side of the caliper. If it's on the bottom, that means it's for the wrong side. So let's put it into place now. Once those bolts are tight, everything's in place, we're gonna loosen this bleeder and take the rubber off. It's 10 millimeter, we'll crack the bleeder free. I'm gonna crack this banjo bolt free on the old line, and then I'm gonna transfer the line into the proper position and connect it here. It does come with the new banjo bolt and stuff, but I'm gonna use I'm gonna use my current banjo bolt since it's still fine. Shouldn't be too hard to break free. This is why we already broke it free before. You wanna be careful where you drip the fluid. for this into the proper position. Okay, I'm gonna tighten it in your place. You wanna put it on tight, but not too tight that you break the caliper. Just enough that it seals it good. I'm gonna spray this with brake clean because the brake fluid that spilled will corrode stuff. Eventually gravity will bleed it through here, so you could just wait for it to start dripping. Or you can close it and have someone pump the brake pedal. And when they're holding it, you're gonna open this, release the fluid, and then you're gonna close it. And then you're gonna get them to pump it up and repeat. You can also do that yourself if you have a stick to hold the brake pedal down. All right, so I'm gonna get it pumped up. We're gonna bleed it through here and then we'll be done. So we're gonna close this first and then I'm gonna pump the brakes up and get some pressure in there. Screw it off, we're gonna pump the pedal and then I'm gonna put the breaker bar on the pedal holding it down and put it against the seat. We wanna pump it about two times. Then I'm gonna put that on there and I'm gonna push it down. And now it's held up against the seat, so it's held down. And as this is being held down, we're gonna open the bleeder screw 
and the bleeder screw will let out fluid. Once the fluid flow stops, we'll close it off and repeat this. Once you open it up and there's no bubbles coming out, then we'll know that the system is blood good. Okay, as you can see, that stream is just clear fluid. There's no bubbles in there. So that means we're good to go. I'm gonna tighten this up, put the rubber cap on, and then spray it with some brake clean. Okay, now we can put this wheel back on. Here's what the old one looks like. It came into contact with some sort of oil that it wasn't supposed to, and these swelled up and were broken, so. They were time to go, they were seasoned and everything, so once this happens, they need to be rebuilt or replaced, so. These are gonna be gone. If you keep running them with bad boots like this, then it's just gonna seize up and eventually your brakes are just gonna stick on and it's gonna overheat and cause more damage. So we're gonna get this out. We got the new one in. Let's get the wheel on and take it for a test drive. After we're done bleeding it, we're gonna wanna fill up the brake fluid to the max arrow there, just above the max. So I'm gonna put it All right, we got it up to the proper mark. Now I'm gonna close the hood and we're good under here. All right, now that all the wheels are torqued, I'm gonna take it for a test drive and make sure the brakes work good. Pump the brake pedal a few times and it feels okay. So we're gonna go for a little test drive now and make sure that the brakes are working good. Okay, I've been for a little test drive and the brakes are working good. So we're gonna park it and then we're just gonna do a quick little walk around and make sure that everything's dry and there's no brake fluid leaks. But so far, everything seems to be good. All right, I'm gonna apply my brakes now. They're working perfectly fine. Now we're just gonna do a quick walk around, make sure that there's no leaks, and then we're good to go.